Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do basic collisions between the ball and the paddle. So when the ball hits the paddle, it should bounce. Not the map. We'll do that in the next one. So um, there is, uh, for very basic collisions, which we're going to use in this, um, there's sort of a built-in feature where Java can compare one rectangle to another and tell you if it intersects the other rectangle. So the basic strategy is going to be we're, we're going to put, we're going to, in the fields under the ball and the paddle, we're going to have a private rectangle, which is just a shape object that's already defined in Java, called paddle rect, in the rectangle one. And we have to import the rectangle class from Java Um And then in ball, we're also going to have a field a private rectangle called ball rect. And again we have to import uh, the rectangle class. And now uh, in the ball we also have to have a method called set dy because we're going to conduct these collisions, the tests, in our game panel class. So in the game panel class we have to have a method, we're going to add a method you can add it wherever you like. I'm going to do it just under run. Uh, public void check collisions. And we're going to be augmenting this over the course of time. But all we're going to do in this is check the ball against the paddle for the time being. And we're going to, uh, under update, we are going to check collisions. So each time the update method is called, we're going to check collisions and then update the ball. So we need to define this rectangle field in both the paddle and the ball class. And we're going to do that in this method called get rectangle or get rect. Public rectangle, because methods can return objects, get, uh, we're going to say get, no, just get rect for each. And we're asking it a question, we're just asking it to get something. So, it should return a new rectangle built from the balls x, y, and ball size ball size, coordinates or variables, and this obviously we still have, we have to cast this because x is a double and y is a double and the rectangle wants integer values to work with. So whenever we call get rect, it will return a new rectangle uh, built at wherever the ball is in the space of our panel. So then we have to do that for paddle also. We're going to say public void, or no, public rectangle get rect. And we're going to return a new rectangle at x and y position and width height. Isn't that what we called it? Width, height, x. Oh, and we have to cast that because this is x is a double. Uh, new rectangle, int, and y position. Is that not what I called it? Oh, it's all caps, right? Because it's a final thing, and that is convention. So y position. And I forgot, we don't actually need the fields because uh, all we do is return a new rectangle. So I'm going to delete that over in ball also. Uh, now, once we have those two rectangles, we can do something pretty neat. In collisions, check collisions, here's our check collisions method. All we're going to do is create two rectangles. So rectangle ball rect equals the ball dot get rect. And that will return a new rectangle of the ball uh, that, like, is drawn around the ball's current position. So it's not going to be exact, these 
uh, collisions, but it's going to be good enough for our purposes. And rectangle paddle rect equals the paddle dot get rect. Now, like I said, under ball, we need a method by which we can... So, if the ball ever hits the rectangle, we only need to change its direction in the y direction. So... So, we're going to have a public uh, double. It's going to return a double, public method that returns a double called uh, get dy. And all this method is going to do is return dy. And sometimes you write methods with just like on a single line if they're super short. So, you know, we could write this like this. Uh, if that makes it make more sense to you. Um, but once you get familiar with it, this is often easier for very short methods. So public double, oh, we don't need to get dy, oh, do we? We just need to set dy, and so it doesn't need to return anything, and it should be void, like I was doing before. And we're going to get a new dy, int the dy, and this shouldn't be an int, it should be a double, come on, Joel. Uh, and we should say dy equals the dy that we passed over. And so then in game panel, all we have to do is say if ball rect dot intersects paddle rect, then we need to change the direction of the ball in the y direction, the ball dot set dy and we want to change it by negative to negative the ball dot get dy which that's why I was writing that other method so we need set dy and get dy in the ball so we're gonna get the dy and we're gonna flip it so we need public double get dy return dy and so I think that this should work. I think the ball should bounce off the paddle now. Do we check collisions and update? Yeah, we do. Let's see. So look at that. No matter where the paddle is, it will bounce off, the ball will bounce off it at this point, no matter how fast it's going or whatever. Perfect. So that's enough for this lesson. We're going to fix some of the paddle's behavior in the next one. You know, the ball can bounce down there and stuff, um, but it doesn't bounce off the map, and that's going to be the next video.